Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your June. Now, the first thing that I, I see coming through is more on the relationship front. I feel like a lot of you are having like some type of a secret rendezvous with another person. I feel like you go into a place like near a um, body of water, possibly walking very late at night along a beach, along a reservoir, along a, along a lake or a pond or something like that, doing some very romantic um, stargazing. I'm sensing stargazing, but strolls along a, a large body of water with a, um, a new person in your life. So there's this very nice, hopeful energy about some type of a new relationship um, that you really want to get off the ground. I do feel the person that you're dealing with is like very, very close to your ideal like Mr. or Mrs. Wright okay so so like there's this overall this very strong romantic ambiance in the relationship sector especially if you are dating again after a long hiatus I feel like this is a brand new person it might have emerged like within the past month or so it's a very new relationship and I feel like starry-eyed like two people just um, trying to, you know, still feeling very shy around one another. You're still at that stage where you're getting to know one another as well. And I feel like as a result of it, you haven't really discussed, you know, your relationship status just yet. And you are trying to, you're trying not to jinx it. So you're not talking about it to your friends or to your significant other, um, to significant people in your life. Others of you, there might be a uh, secret rendezvous, like stepping out of a relationship, temptation as well. So be very careful about meeting somebody um, in broad daylight, you know, for a date. Just be very careful about that because I feel like this might be residual energy coming through from last month during the Mercury and retrograde uh, cycle when exes and, you know, misconnections from the past have a habit of coming back into our lives, okay? I feel that a lot of you, you're going to be communicating with another person. And I do feel that everything is like laid out bare on the table. So you're putting it out there. They're putting it out there. And both of you are going to have a very long emotional, um, I feel like, discussion about where things are headed what we're going to do and you know what we need to do as well a lot of financial discussions are also coming through as well and I feel as a result of it um, mixing business with pleasure I feel coming through strongly so you know be smart about that okay just be very um, try to detach yourself if you know you can't detach yourself from a situation where you are mixing business with pleasure just don't get involved in the first place um, at the end of the month, what I do feel for a lot of you is, um, especially for those who are single and looking, a lot of expansive energy pertaining to like uh, potential suitors, pe people that just come out of the woodwork, new people predominantly coming out of the woodwork to um, want to be with you as well. So I definitely feel like new opportunities, new energies coming through on the dating front and keep in mind I feel like more um, you know just dating I don't feel anything like um, well I don't think you should take you should rush it anyways but I feel like just more on the dating front more on the platonic dating front or even just social light very light dating um, it is best to wait for the energy to settle by the 21st when we are transitioning into let me see into um, the water sign which is the sign of cancer in order for you to move relationships along okay I feel like it's more conducive for longevity by that time so let me see what's in store for you in terms of advice Okay, so let me just talk about, um, yeah, let's just go through the, the spread, but um, I there are four advice, advice cards that fell out. These two fell out together, the lovers and the four of swords, so I'm going to read their energies together. So, you know, just think of it as like three advice cards, okay? But um, let's talk about the first cluster here. Um, for a lot of you, there is, a, I, I feel like an earth sign. So this is um, 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this is, I, I feel like this is somebody that you have known for quite some time. This is somebody that is kind of like coming in and out of your life. It might be a friend, you know, just popping in, checking on you once in a while. There is some type of a physical attraction. It's like a weird dynamic between, you know, sexual attraction with this person. So it's showing up here as the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. I feel like in the past, this person was not in a position, like it seems like timing is just off. It feels to me like this person has been in the friend zone for quite some time, or you might have been kept in their friend zone for quite some time. There is this underlying sexual tension and, and physical attraction. But for some reason, a relationship was never started because you're just not, sim your energy are very very different the way you communicate and the ways in which you approach one another the things in which you want out of a relationship are just not in accordance with one another this is somebody that is very very um, they can be materialistic as well and they can be like a little bit just too wrapped up in finance business status uh, property resources and I feel like they are lacking in emotional and spiritual growth okay despite being a king I do feel that's the way that I'm reading this energy for today I do feel that there is an underlying you know this very strong sense of sexual attraction but for some reason things have not been getting off the ground I do feel there is temptation here to if you are in a relationship there might be some type of a temptation some type of a solicitation for a clandestine affair coming in if this is a friend and you want to salvage that relationship be smart about this and don't do it okay if this is somebody that you are working with definitely don't get involved in that because I don't feel it's going to bode well for you additionally if you're in a relationship and you are tempted by this person definitely steer clear of it okay on the other front I feel like for a lot of you this person might come up as somebody who is coming through with a business proposal this is a job offer alone somebody with financial backing that can help you with a specific project they give very good practical advice in order for you to jump start some areas in your life and I feel it's more on the practical front which is more on the income generating front um, for others of you, I feel like this might be somebody that uh, comes through. You might have known them for quite some time and they're like, okay, I'm starting a business. Do you want to partner up? Or I'm going to, you know, I have, I, I'm like a financier. I'm going to invest in you and you run the business. So I definitely feel a major, major opportunity coming through from you, for you from an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um... For those of you who are dealing with this person as a communication, uh, I'm sorry, as a romantic partner, I do feel there you're you're really struggling with this dilemma. I feel like for a lot of you, it might be a clandestine affair. I feel for a lot of you, it might be even like an ex coming back in, and uh, it's just somebody that you know you can't get, that you can't have a stable relationship with and they keep cycling in and out in and out of your life and I feel like at this point you're very conflicted and you're very torn about how you want to proceed for a lot of you you are meeting up with this person like in under the the, the darkness like uh, under the covers of the night and um, I do sense some like hesitation on your end I feel like a little bit of shame I don't know why I, I feel like they're not a bad person it's just together you have tried so many times and it's, it seems to me like it's not really working out specifically if you are dealing with a Virgo I do feel that um, you know if you're dealing with an earth sign in general but uh, Virgo specifically I do feel that this is a situation where Two people are lacking in uh, the ability to compromise, okay? And two people are lacking in, like, the spiritual insight to really make this situation work. And a lot of the times, uh, what I mean by spiritual insight is I feel almost like, I feel like this is your energy where you're kind of um, on the defense. You've been hurt by this person before, I'm feeling. And as a result of it, I feel like you are a little bit closed off when they try to get near you. You let them back in because once again, there is that very strong sense of physical uh, attraction. 
Um, but I feel on the other hand, you're still kind of resentful that they walked out on you or they have hurt you in the past. So you're not able to give 100%. And then, you know, after having them back in your life for some reason, um, the, the situation falls apart mainly because you're on the defensive. And I feel like the other person doesn't really know how to work together with you as a relationship partner, okay? So even if this is like a friend and you have recently, you know, reconnected or reconciled family member that you are reconciling with, as well, I, I feel like the same energy is very, very like on, off, on, off, like stop, go, mainly because two people are lacking in the ability to really work together as a unit. And when I see that, it basically means this is a situation that you need to sever ties with. And I feel like you're indecided, um, indecisive in doing this and you're also feeling as if oh what's the harm to keep them coming back in well if there is like a lot of problems when it contains uh, when it pertains to like communication or even like you know tr working together as a unit it means you're not on the same wavelength which inevitably means you're not on the same life path okay so it is best to leave this situation alone okay and especially if you are one of those people that have a relationship and you're stepping out of the relationship with this earth sign, I definitely feel uh, somebody's doing some type of um, looking into, digging up information, unearthing something, and doing research, or doing some type of, um, I guess, like um, sneaking around. So I definitely feel like somebody is out there digging up some secrets. Someone is trying to hold it in or someone is trying to keep them at arm's length so that they don't know everything. So this is a very precarious path that you're on and I feel this energy, the temptation is coming greatly from you. So you want to be very, very mindful of this energy. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you might be single at this point. A person from your past coming back in and you're very emotionally rattled. You don't trust what they have to say and my my advice is if you don't trust it just leave it alone don't re-engage in it okay but I do feel that a part of you you know you have a very good heart and you always want to give people the benefit of the doubt so you feel like well if they can't be my lover then at least we can at least be friends because you know what's the harm but I feel like it's emotionally destabilizing for you to constantly re-engage with a person that is not on your life path because communication will never be, you know, you, you won't be on the same page and they will inevitably leave you high and dry. I see like the same patterns repeating, okay? Um, for others who are newly dating this person, I feel like a lot of you are afraid. Sorry, I'm waiting for that siren to pass. A lot of you are kind of like in a state where you're very utterly afraid about leaving yourself vulnerable. So you are doing some extra like digging to make sure this person is legitimate, to make sure this person is completely single. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's like very, very close to your ideal. And um, as a result of it, you're just like, this is too good to be true. I don't really believe it. I need to do some more digging. So I definitely feel somebody is like... Um, looking up some information on another person. So you might be, you know, on the other hand, you might be on the um, investigative side of some type of industry and you're doing some research, you're digging some information up too. That, that could be how it plays out on the mundane sense. In terms of your financial state, we have the Eight of Pentacles as well as the Queen of Cups. Finances is very, very uh, fruitful for you for this month. So the Eight of Pentacles is a situation where we are working very, very diligently to hone in our craft, to develop our financial base, and to stabilize ourselves. So you're on the path to the, the uh, Nine of Pentacles, which is the entrepreneur. So this is a very, very good card that indicates working hard, um, getting in the flow of things when it comes to you know um, your work environment, feeling at ease, feeling in harmony, feeling as if you're in the flow of things and that good things will start to come your way. I feel the financial situation, because you're not worried about your finances, there is also a situation where you know finances, once it's stabilized, it brings about a lot of emotional stability as well. So for those of you who have recently met a new love interest, I feel like if you think back, it might 
also coincide with your ability uh, once the financial situation starts to stabilize, you might have attracted this new person coming into your life. So I feel like love and finances are usually inextricably linked because of that reason. When we are in a state where we are secure financially, we feel good about ourselves, and we feel as if we can take care of ourselves, it brings about you know a good energy, good vibration, and it allows us to attract higher vibrational people and friends, associate lovers and things like that into our lives. So I feel like it's no coincidence that at this point you feel really good about your life and finances has a lot to do with it, okay? On the work environment, I feel a lot of you are getting uh, support. So we have here the Queen of Cups, which is a water sign. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There might be this energy around your work environment who is serving as a gentle, like um, a, a maternal figure, somebody who get, takes care of you. They might bring you coffee, food, and things like that. They might um, be your shoulder, the shoulders for you to lean on. They might be your support network. They might also be, you know, that one employee where you can have a lot of fun within the work environment, where uh, you have like a a great sense of like almost um, a telepathic link with them. So you understand each other. You you understand like um, you can vent to them. So there's a lot of support coming through in your work environment. For a lot of you, this might serve as a very feminine like supervisor, manager, somebody who knows and really appreciates all the skills you're bringing to the table. And as a result of it, they're very hands off, but they're there when you need them. So this is a very good mentor uh, emotional support person within your work sphere. Um, what I'm also feeling here is um, when it comes to your family situation, we have the Ten of Pent Pentacles as well as the Prince of Pentacles, which is, you know, the Knight of Pentacles. In your home environment, um, there's definitely like some type of a... Um, I see a lot of you are kind of... Um, so first off, if you are in a marriage situation, there is that temptation once again with the earth sign, okay? If you're outside, if you're in a marriage situation and you're seeing somebody outside, I definitely feel that there might be some struggles associated with that. Be very, very careful. Somebody's doing some digging, so you might want to cover your bases, okay? For others of you, I feel like you are in a position where you are harnessing a lot of financial opportunities. You're building up your financial base and you're feeling very, very on top of the world. And you have very high standards for yourself at this point about who you've let into your life, who is like basically worth it, okay? So the Ten of Pentacles usually is a generational card when it indicates some type of um, family issue. Um, <clears throat> some type of family unit like um, information or problems or even events concerning the family unit. I feel for a lot of you, you have established a relationship, you know, like a, a very solid household foundation. So you could be living uh, with a significant other. You could also be living, um, t you could be like, you could have your own property and you have established a home for yourself. And I feel like somebody who has not established a home for themselves, they're asking for either a place to stay or they're coming in in a time of need and they might need your help. And I feel like their entry, this could be a friend, a brother, uncle, or it could just be like, um, I feel like for a lot of you, it might be a friend or like a, an extended relative who is kind of like down on their luck and they're coming in and they might need a place to stay. And I feel like you're assessing whether or not to let this person in your family because, you know, if you look at the cards, it seems like everything here is very, very stable. So you're kind of like eyeing this situation and you're just like, do I want this to let this person in? On the one hand, they're kind of down on their luck. But on the other hand, I don't want them to be around my family unit because I'm not really sure if they're a positive influence. So you're making that type of an assessment. And I feel like in the past, you might have been dealing with this person with, you know, keeping them at arm's length, mainly because you don't really trust them. So I feel something like that is coming through this month where someone is asking for help. They haven't proven themselves to be um, you know, the most reliable character in the past. So you're kind of hesitant about, about letting them in or even, you know, listening to what they have to say. 
Um, on the other hand, I want you to just be very careful if you're stably married or living with a significant other and you have temptation outside of your relationship. I just don't feel that it's worth it and I feel that things will come to light, so be mindful of that, okay? Um, I definitely feel your financial situation is very, very lucrative. It, it just seems like it's very stable for this month. Now, in terms of your advice, so finances, work, environment, everything is going really well for you, Aries. I feel like the problem is in the relationship sector. So let me think about this. Um, well, let me just explain this situation. This looks to me like a situation that um, it's like star-crossed lovers. For some reason, two people are like uh, really thinking about one another. They yearn for one another. They don't get enough sleep because they're, they're up thinking about the other person. But the energies between the two of you is very disruptive and you're just not meant to be. It indicates to me like star-crossed lover. So if you look at the imagery, and the imagery jumped out at me when I pulled out these cards, it's sort of like there is a person that you long to be with. And I feel like the feeling is definitely mutual. But it's a heavy emotional relationship. And I feel like one or both partners might have a lot of drama in their lives. They don't know how to handle it with them, uh, themselves. So then they might make their problem yours and, and or vice versa. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So I feel like for a lot of you, it might be an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, who's dealing with their own sort of emotional turmoil. You yourself are in a very, very good financial state or in a very, very good station in your life right now where you're you're not really sure why they are constantly stuck and it's really hard for you to form a relationship with this person or maintain a relationship mainly because you're in a very good space right now and they're not and as a result of it you're getting sucked up in all their mental anguish in all their mental energy okay there's a lot of self-doubt as well pertaining relationship there is a major decision here that needs to happen we have the lovers card and the lovers is a very very good card but it can also indicate interference as well so i am just getting you know star-crossed lovers i'm getting temptation as well for those of you who are single this bode very well and i feel like there's a lot of communication a lot of options coming through for you whether like i mentioned at the beginning of the reading i feel like there are options coming through but I don't feel that they are, you know, um, promising as a long-term prospect. And if you must, you know, solidify a relationship, wait until, you know, um, the very last week of this month or even July. I feel that would be best, okay? So I feel like you are very heavily uh, physically attracted to another person, but communication has been very difficult, you don't have the same, you know, philosophical outlook and you don't have the same life path. You don't have the same goals in life. And this is the month in which you realize, you know, maybe I need to sever ties, let it go completely. I feel like somebody is in, in, in need of some help. I feel like emotional support and they're coming through. I feel for a lot of you, if you're not dealing with this situation as a romantic lover or like as a... Um, as a temptation to step outside of the relationship, I feel like a family member is dealing with some grief or some stress and they need your emotional support. But I feel like the, the relationship has been very up and down. And as a result of it, you don't know how you can help them because you feel like it, it's kind of like talking to a brick wall. You, you don't feel like you're making any progress with them. The communication has been very difficult and you don't want to re-engage with this person. Um, the advice here is that you have options coming through. You're not seeing the forest for the trees. And it, it feels like these options are actually very good for you, but you're ruminating on something that you want that wasn't meant for you, okay? And it's causing a lot of anguish as a result of it. But I do feel that um, the sword energy, is it's a mental energy, is not real. So you want to snap out of this state and pick yourself up and, you know, just get out there and grab these opportunities when they come in. So I feel like there's definitely that um, sense of ruminating, you know, 
feeling a little bit um, like why why isn't life fair why does it have to work out this way and as a result of it don't act on any urges don't act on any impulses I feel like it's basically telling you to take it easy if you are looking for new love try to manifest try to pray for the right relationship partner but try to manifest it because I do feel like a lot of you are dealing with residual disappointment somebody from the past potentially coming back in and asking for a second chance or trying to reconnect with you and there's this very strong pull uh, towards them but I feel like you know deep down in your hearts of hearts that they're not the right one for you, okay? And the relationship has been very burdensome in the past as well. Um, and I'm getting this as well for a very small minority of you. I feel like, I feel almost like a lot of you have been dealing with a person, either an air sign or an earth sign. And I feel like this is a person that you really love. Like you really, really just, you know, are in love with them. And I feel like, they're not ready. They, they just weren't ready. And every time they leave, they left you in a state where you were completely, you know, decimated, right? And then your friends, your family members would help you overcome it. And then the next time they come back, you feel like, oh, it's going to work this time. And then they leave again and they leave you completely decimated, like destroyed. And then your friends and family members and your loved ones help, you know, build you back up. And then the third time they come back, I feel like you're keeping it a secret from your friends and family because you're afraid of disapproval. And the point here is that it's the same thing happening over and over and over and over again. And nothing has really changed. So it's really important if, you're, if that sounds familiar to you. If you are ever in a position where you feel like you have to hold back information from your loved ones, the people that have supported you through, you know, many trials and tribulations, you want to just accept the fact that there is something wrong with it. That's why you're not telling them in the first place, okay? So be very mindful about the things that you are hiding um, or you are hiding from, I guess be mindful of the things that you're hiding and your reasons, your justifications for hiding these things from people who are your support system. So that's my advice, okay? Um, so let's see what's in store for you for love, Aries. I hope the energy picks up, and I don't want to see you deal with that mental anguish energy. But I feel like there's a lot of temptation in your midst, okay? Especially exes, so be careful. Let's see what's going on with you for love and relationships. Love, romance, and relationships. <coughs> Excuse me. Love, romance, and relationships for Aries. So I'm going to pull out um, five cards and then whatever cards need that needs like uh, further clarifications I would then pull out an additional card Okay, so I, I do feel a little bit of uh, trouble brewing, especially for those of you in married or, you know, committed relationships, okay? Let's just say, first of all, if you are dealing with an air sign and you're in a committed relationship or you're, you're dating them, I feel they might be in a position to keep their options open. I feel like in the past, they might have been very, you know, righteous, very, you know, they, they try to do the right thing, but I feel there is temptation as well coming in from their end, is what I'm feeling. 
I do feel a lot of discord uh, between you and this person. So air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius, there's definitely some type of a solidification, like some, some type of truce that needs to be had um, between the two of you. But when it comes to like, um, well, well, the air sign is showing up here as the, um, seems more of a Gemini energy actually. So let's let's say here, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini specifically, there is some type of discord. So this could be like uh, family issues as well coming through from their end and uh, from their end, from your end, affecting the relationship, okay? Dealing with children, potentially um, custody issues, exes from their end coming through. They are communicating with their exes or they're trying to sever ties. They're trying to go through legal channels in order to like clear up some financial issue, custody issues from their end, okay? This is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. On the other hand, if you're dealing specifically with a Gemini, um, who are not have never been married who don't have children I do feel there is some type of a communication outside of the relationship like electronic communication via social media via dating websites and I feel like a lot of it might come to light coming through for this uh, month this is a um, sun sign rising sign moon sign okay so the moon indicates a situation where you know um, it, it it's like something we know something is a little bit off, but we don't have all the information to make an informed decision or to make to draw a conclusion just yet. But we know something is off. So there is a situation here that is um, that you have suspicions about. It is leaving you feeling very, very emotionally destabilized. And I do feel that you are going to catch wind of it or you're going to get like some type of um, confirmation coming through as well. OK. If you are kind of like stepping out of a relationship with an air sign, if you are, for example, married and you're stepping out on a relationship out of your current marriage situation with an uh, air sign, I do feel you want to be extra careful when it comes to the ways that you communicate because I feel something coming to light, okay? Um, I do feel something like that coming to light. On the other hand, for a lot of you, um, there might be temptation to like mix business with pleasure. There is some type of a temptation, attraction on the relationship front. And as a result of it, I feel like it is really important for you to keep your emails, for example. Um, if you're like attracted to a coworker, a boss, especially a, p a person in a position of power, and, um, you know, keep that, that stuff outside of the office. I feel like you want to be smart about it, okay? I also feel if there are, like, uh, work emails, work telephones that are used for, like, you know, um, for, for, like, meeting up, for romantic, like, liaison, for... Um, for clandestine meetups and things like that it's not a good idea okay I, I do feel that you don't want to get yourself in an embarrassing situation so do not use emails or work computers even for for those things that's what I'm feeling here because the star card deals with a lot of heavy electronic communication this is like social media this is email like fast swift communication it's also the Aquarius card which rules electronics so you might want to be very careful if you're mixing business with pleasure and you're using company cell phones emails computers to like contact the other person just be very mindful about that I feel something like getting dug up okay um, so for those of you who have recently like very very recently divorced from a person and you're like out on the market and you're dating again I feel like there is a very strong uh, air energy air energy so a lot of air signs are coming into your miss and there might be you know very very strong attraction with them as well um, I do feel this is a good month for like just socially dating. I don't feel it's a month for you to like have a to, you know, like for things to really exceed your expectations or for you to have any type of a long standing commitment from another person. 
all the court cards to me are showing up in the reverse position and it's linked up with the moon with the justice system so i feel like a lot of you are getting out of divorce a lot of you are contemplating divorce or a lot of you have been caught in the past like one party is, is stepping out of the relationship another party is potentially you know seeing other people there might be like temptation to come back to, with an ex and that's not advisable so my advice here is that it is a good month for us to know how they feel about you and then your interest might wane on them because i feel like your your emotions fluctuate i will be back for the mid-month reading i'll talk to you soon take care bye-bye